I'm Dump Truck DS, and welcome back to Mapping for Quake. Back in 2015, I discovered a YouTube channel called Custom Gamer. And that channel, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you if I hadn't discovered that channel. Daz uh, is the owner of the channel, and he would do playthroughs of Quake levels, Half-Life 2 and all that stuff, many other games. But uh, they were so well produced and so fascinating, he has such a good insight on all this stuff. And I really got hooked up on Quake mapping again after a many year absence. So thank you Daz for all the hard work on all those great videos that you produced over the years. One thing about those videos, they have these really cinematic fly-throughs that you uh, you know can't help but notice how beautiful they are. So I asked Daz and I did a little bit of research uh, and uh, on Funk Message Board on how to do all this stuff. And now I'm sharing it with you. If you take all the time to create a level, you really should promote it. And so that's what this video is really all about, is making, putting your best foot forward and showing your level in the best possible light. One thing about this video is I'm not gonna cover video editing. That's kind of on you, but there's plenty of information out there and it's kind of redundant. So without further ado, here's screenshots and fly-throughs. With both screenshots and fly-throughs, you wanna think like a cinematographer. Treat your shots like scenes in a movie and pick the best angles, and do lots of takes. There are specific console commands and a few key bindings you'll want to know to make the best images possible. First off, make sure you have keys bound to swim up and down and turn left and right. Note, this is not strafe left and right, but turning. We'll use these in the video section later, but they're good to use when lining up screenshots too. Second is your field of view, which is the FOV console command. I use an FOV of 105, so that's what you'll see here. But if you need a wide angle lens, just use higher numbers. Just remember you wanna try and represent your level realistically, so don't do this. You'll also wanna get rid of your HUD and weapon view model. You can use the keyboard defaults plus and minus to remove the status bar, or type in view size 120 to hide it. To hide your weapon, use the console command rdrawViewModel0. An SV Freeze Non Clients 1 will freeze monsters in place if you use a modern Quake engine like Quake Spasm. You can use this to grab dynamic combat shots. Other must use commands are God, No Clip, and No Target. No Clip allows you to fly through your level, and monsters will ignore you with No Target enabled. God Mode will keep you from visiting the Lava God. And just in case, F12 is usually the default button for screenshots in most Quake engines, but the console command is screenshot. When choosing a perspective, try different altitudes, view positions, and angles until you have a compelling shot. If you're having trouble, use the rule of thirds from photographic theory. This is where you break up your composition into nine equal parts, and the dominant subject of your image lies along these lines or their intersections. Once you have your shots, name them something that makes sense and share them with the community in the Quake Mapping Discord, Funk Message Board, Quadicted, Twitter, or the Quake subreddit. You can host screenshots on Quaketastic for free. The login info will be linked above the comment section below. One last note about screenshots. FTE can take a few different varieties of shots, including cube maps, 360, large format, 3D, and even VR. Just type in screenshot in the console and hit tab for all the options. Other Quake engines probably have other formats as well. Let me know in the comments if you found something I've missed. Screenshots are great, but videos are even better. It's pretty simple to create a gameplay video of your map, but if you want to create a Daz style fly through, it will take a bit of dedication to get things right. There are two different methods you can use to create these. Both methods utilize a custom capture config that smooths out the movement of the player's point of view. In one method, you record live, and in the other method, you record a demo of your fly through and process it with a custom application called Dem Smooth. But before all that, you want to know how to smooth out the camera movement to get that floating feeling. I've created a custom config that I'll link to below. It binds the F4 and F8 keys to toggle the required console commands on and off. If you don't use my config, I highly suggest making a backup of your config.config before changing the following commands. CL forward speed. I set this to 100 from a default of 400. CL back speed 100 for backwards movement. CL side speed 100, this is the strafing speed of the player. CL up speed 25, this controls both up and down speeds. CL bob 0 disables the bobbing of the player's point of view. 
CL roll angle zero. This is the slight tilt the player makes when changing strafing direction. CL yaw speed 25. This is the turning speed. CL pitch speed. This is the look up and down speed. R draw view model zero to hide your weapon model. View size 120 to hide the status bar. And sensitivity two for a low mouse sensitivity. All these values are just suggestions. You may want slower movements or faster. Play around and set these to your preference. Now you're all set to record your fly through. Set God, no target, and no clip, and start navigating the level with your virtual camera. The shots you choose are up to you, but long tracking shots through the levels always look good. I like to use a combination of key presses to come up with interesting camera moves. How you move the camera really depends on the geometry of your level. Try and move your mouse as slowly as possible when making turns. Just record your footage using shadow play or OBS and you're all set. So this is all great and you can get very good results with the settings and techniques I've already mentioned. But if you really want extremely fluid movements, you'll want to use Dim Smooth. I have a link to a repackaged version of the app I made that includes the EXE and a required library file. To use Dim Smooth, you'll record a demo instead of recording live. Just type record and the demo name you want. Fly through your level and when finished, type stop. You will then process the original demo. A copy of the demo will be saved next to the original with the suffix process added. You can see a dramatic difference between the two demos here. Notice how almost all rough movements and bumps are removed. It's not perfect, but Dem Smooth is one of the cooler Quake utilities I've ever used.